Welcome at E2ED Science. What I do in this video is I will turn this Scott foil into a Red Bull race bike. But before we can start, I have to refill this painting machine with some new energy. No, not, not Red Bull. No, not, I won't do that. No, please not, not the Red Bull page or no. What a nightmare. That wasn't a dream. That's not a dream. Martin, show your audience how to turn this squad foil into a Red Bull race bike. And stop drinking Monster Energy or you will burn in hell. Lucifer. Ah, no. I have to paint the Red Bull. Okay, let's do it. Welcome at E2E Designs. It's time for another paint job and what I will do... <sighs> Let's paint the Red Bull. I will primer and prep this frame and I will come back to you when we start the interesting stuff and paint the color and some Red Bull logos and all that stuff, custom painting and so on and so on and so on. You know what I'm doing, so stay tuned if you want to know how to paint Red Bull. Yeah, I did all the boring stuff. I stripped the frame, I primed the frame, and I did a wet sanding with 800 grit. Now this frame is like a blank canvas, ready for the paint job. And the next thing I have to do is, I have to find the juicy color, the Red Bull color, I have to apply on the frame. And to do that, I need some color charts like these. And of course the can I kicked away, so I'm back in a second. And then we are searching for the color. Yeah, that's the blue I'm looking for and let's check these charts and mm, what nice colors. Check these blues. Yeah, Ooh. and that's close and I think that's what I'm looking for. Or maybe this or this or this. <laughs> yeah, let's find one which fits best and let's mix it. Woo! Yeah, the frame is prepped, the spray gun is loaded, but there's one very important thing missing, and guess what this is? The very special flavor for the blue. Mm -hmm. And that's what I have to add before I can start. So let's put in some of the flavor. And yeah, that's it. Mix it, flip it, of course, and we are ready to go. Back from the paint, oh, 
pain boost, don't panic, I got it. The next step is a wet sanding party with wet sandra, my wet sanding bucket and of course 800 grit because what I've applied in the paint booth was a very nice blue pearl check this. Ooh, how nice these colors are. And also a hard solid clear coat and what I have to do now is I have to sand and prepare the clear coat for the max layers of colors for a good adhesion. It's not a good idea to cut the corners. So that's what I have to do. A wet sanding party, very boring, time consuming, but I want quality. So let's do it and let's sand these parts. What I have applied on these parts are three layers of the pearl blue with a delay of 15 minutes in between and also one layer of the hard solid clear coat as mentioned before also with a delay of 15 minutes. I waited two hours until the clear coat cured and now I can do the wet sanding. Yeah, I've sanded the complete frame. The surface is prepared for the decals and that's exactly what we are doing now, the cool things. So let's check the graphics and what I will do first are the difficult parts. So come a bit closer and what I will do first are all the white areas, the scot on the down tube, scot on the fork and these white graphics because these are the most difficult ones I will do in the paint booth with a spray gun and when I've applied these I can change to the airbrush and I can do all these smaller things. The red areas, the red bull logo on the top tube and also the yellow sun. So let's start, let's cut some decals with the sign maker, let's stick them on and let's change to the paint booth to spray the white areas. It's very important to do some measurements before I stick on the stencils because these white graphics are on the fork and on the down tube and the line from the fork jumps onto the down tube and the line from the down tube jumps onto the seat tube. So to find the perfect spot and the correct measurements I use some tape and my two eyes. That's all I need. So let's find out the position I like. And yeah, that's a good spot on both positions compared to the fork and the seat tube as well. On the fork, also on the seat tube. And yeah, as you have seen, I stick on a yellow tape and that's the correct position I will use. And now I can stick on my stencil. I've wrapped the frame and the fork like a Christmas present. Only the white spots are visible. Now it's time for the paint booth and to spray the white. Spray gun is loaded with an automotive base coat. The frame is prepared. Don't forget to degrease these parts you like to paint. And then it's time for fun. Let's paint the color.
Yeah, it's time to unpack the frame. I let the color sit for 20 minutes. That's enough. What we need now is a knife, some time. Let's do it. I have to do some more decals on the fork, also on the frame, the yellow sun, the red bull of course, and to do that I'll do some airbrushing. I use my airbrush spray guns, the revolutions, with a needle nozzle combination of 0.5 and if you want to own one yourself, find some links underneath the video in the video description and what I have to do is I have to paint a red stripe, also some red lettering on the inside of the fork and as, as you can see I did the remasking and what I will do is I will start with white because I'm spraying on a dark back color uh, the uh, blue base color and if I'm working with light colors like bright red I have to do some light background like the white that's what I have to do first so let's start with the white and when I've done the white I can spray the bright red I've sprayed only a thin layer of white, that's enough. Now let's change to the red and let's apply this color. And when you do a white underneath, this red pops much more than when you spray it direct on the dark, uh, dark blue, the dark base color. So let's do it and let's check the result. Yeah, that's it. Next thing to do, the frame and the bull. The next step is really tricky because I have to place the bull on a frame which has curves. I have two curves in this direction, also in this direction and I have to stretch the stencil but I need the same thickness of the white outline around the bull so that's not as easy as it seems and it takes some time to place the stencil and you have to take your time to do it right because if the outline differs it looks cheap and crappy and that is what I like to avoid. Yeah, there are some smaller decals left I have to do in silver on the frame and when I've done that it's time to change again to the paint booth to save this beauty with a two component high solid clear coat and when I've done that the frame's ready to hit the road so let's do the decals first and then let's change to the paint booth to do the clear coat.
you are ready for the clear coat. Spray gun is loaded with a two component high solid clear coat. Frame is ready and prepared as you can see. But there are two very important things you have to take care of when you paint the frame, especially a Red Bull frame. The first thing is the frame has to be absolutely clean. There should be no dust or grease from your fingerprints on the frame after you've sprayed all these decals, especially when you spray clear coat. And the second thing is you have to add a special ingredient to the clear coat and that's what I'm doing now. And the ingredient is a monster energy. But you have to use the sugar-free version because sugar is not good for your teeth and your body also not good for the clear coat. So use the sugar-free one. We have to open the spray gun again. We have to add the monster. Yeah, that's it. And now we are ready to paint. So let's close the gun. Hey. Ha. Now let's shake it, let's mix it. And yes, let's flip it. And now it's time for party.